and I saw six Cameroonian professors teaching in the Nigerian universities and four others alleged to have been illegally prisoned by the Cameroonian authorities have expressed confidence in the intervention of the legislature to resolve in their case. Counsel to the imprisoned nationals, Barrister Joseph Flynn, briefed Newsburn after an, another hearing section of the petition before the House of Representative Committees and public petition at the National Assembly and insisted that his clients were illegally imprisoned. Barrister Flynn, who was in the company of family members of those affected, however regretted absence of representatives of the United Nations and relevant agencies of the Nigerian government at the hearing. An abduction does not end when we know where they are. An abduction, that illegal act continues and abides with them until that illegality is cured. And to this point, that illegality has not been cured and that is why they are still languishing in prison. The second thing is that these petitioners were not repatriated. They were not deported. Because you repatriate somebody when you go through a, a legal process and you exhaust all the legal processes and then a court decides that they have to go back to where they came from to answer in that jurisdiction. That is called a repatriation. And in fact, before you repatriate somebody, especially between countries, there has to be a bilateral treaty or a treaty that is observed. There's none of that in this, in this case. The imprisoned professors and others, including refugees and asylum seekers, have through their lawyers appealed to the House of Representatives through the petition to help secure their release after being allegedly abducted from Nigeria and imprisoned in Cameroon since January 2018.